Washington's new $24 million stadium is jammed to capacity for the all-star game between the National and American Leagues. Included in this mob of nearly 46,000 people is the nation's number one fan who throws out the first ball. The crowd sees superb yet scoreless baseball until the sixth when Stan Musial pinch hits a single for the Nationals. This is Stan the Man's 22nd All-Star appearance. The old pro still has plenty on the ball. And back. Maury Wills of the Dodgers goes in to run for Musial. And look at that man run as he steals second. Dick Grote of the Pirates comes through with a single, and the fleet-footed Wills comes home from second to score the first run of the game. I wonder who he's rooting for. Grote moved to third on a fly ball and then scores on an infield tap that puts the Nationals ahead, two to nothing. And the American League fans have their moments in the same sixth inning as Rich Rollins drops a hit over first base. Billy Moran of the Los Angeles Angels follows with a long single to left center that sends Rollins to third base. Two on, Roger Maris coming to bat. Maris smashes one toward the 400 foot mark and runs right into a case of highway robbery. Willie Mays snares it as he crashes into the fence. Rollins scores the lone American League run after the catch. Maury Wills again puts the hex sign on the American Leaguers in the eighth. On Jim Davenport's hit, Wills razzle dazzle draws the throw to second, but he scoots safely into third. Beefs can change the call of safe. Scarcely had the crowd recovered when they see Wills take off again as Felipe Alou fouls out to right. Maury's jet-propelled burst brings in another national run. That makes it 3-1 to for the National League. The president stays until the bitter end, and it is a bitter end for the American League, but a grand finale for Willie Mays as he pulls down Louis Aparicio's long ball for the final out. It was a National League victory 3-1 to one, as both leagues played the kind of baseball you read about.